Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahi rahman rahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most kind. Hi, and thank you again for watching Out of Focus, a brand new show where we talk about different topics to do with our generation and our society today. Where we also put an Islamic perspective and different opinions and beliefs of a certain topic to do with our generation and our youth today. This is a show where we put the youth voice into action and we, teenagers today, how we are viewed negati negatively or positively and just controversial things about how we um, are behaving and stuff. So, so far, previous episodes we've been discussing things like teenage behavior discrimination in family health conscience and those were really important significant topics but today's topic is a very important topic because this is a topic which affects a lot of people that go to um schools where uh, there's mixed like boys and girls and our topic today name is challenges in co-education so again we have sabiha a beautiful guest today joining us and obviously shamila she's been in our previous shows before so shamila how are you today i'm all right how are you i'm okay thank you so shamila and sabiha are going to be joining us today okay so you go to a mixed school, right? Yeah, I do. What I kind of challenges do you face in the mixed schools? Well, um, because I go to yeah a mixed school, I go to Brampton Manor, and um, th there's obviously like boys and girls there. And I think the, the um, challenge that most people are facing these um, like the children these days is that because obviously the opposite gender is there, so like you might have like attractions and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, and it's just because you're a girl. Yeah, because obviously boys, there's like they girls look there. From there's you, boys. Isn't it? Yeah, so that's so like one thing. So you might act different, people yes. around you might act different? Yeah, mm, like... The opposite, members of the opposite um, se gender? Sex, sex, yeah. Oh, okay, gender. You, you say that word. <laughs> right, yeah, so yeah, um, that's like one of the challenges you're facing because obviously like you see them everywhere and it's just, you know, it just... How you do just you say that? You just like, you um, don't know how to, you don't do it at normal basically. Yeah, because there's loads of challenges and stuff yeah. in mixed schools. But then I go to a girls' school, isn't it? And then you went to a girls' school as well. Yeah. But now you go to college. Yeah. So it's all mixed. Because loads of colleges are obviously going to be mixed. There's literally some Islamic ones, <laughs> obviously all Islamic ones, Islamic colleges that are only for girls, single sex schools. But, um, uh, and some private schools are only girls, in it? But mainly, generally, all colleges are kind of mixed, boys and yeah. girls. Obviously, we're going to have to put up with it, isn't it? We're going to have to face them one day. Yeah. Cause Jobs and mm. stuff. We're going to have to... We can't like, hide from them forever. So we need to learn how to uh, like cope maintain ourselves and cope with having, with having to discuss, like to, to talk and socialise with... Not socialise, but like... Um, like talk to... Yeah, have interactions basic with basically... The with opposite gender. Opposite sex, without um, falling into shaitan's trap and attract uh, like getting attracted to them and yeah cuz ob obviously stuff. like cuz in our like our school and our generation and society today <laughs> is a lot harder isn't it yeah because in school and stuff like you get partnered with a boy or like you know you just have to obviously have like some interactions with the opposite sex but obviously. it's cuz like s um people they're starting to get into relationships and stuff and like muslim a girls lot of people today, yeah, yeah they get into relationships with the other gender which obviously is it's haram and not allowed in islam isn't yeah. it yeah which so is like it's very hard for muslim girls firstly to not fall in that trap because there's so many things around them like her their their their, their community like in schools and stuff like yeah boys out everywhere like yeah. <laughs> literally yeah, but especially when you're hanging around with a certain group of people like when you go to a mixed school you might have a friend who's a girl but 
she might not be Muslim and you might have that pressure to have yeah. a partner that she has, like having a boyfriend or something. So I think... To fit in with the yeah, group, isn't in, it? It's quite yeah. Even if you don't personally want one or... Yeah. You just, you just want to fit in, isn't it? That's, that's what teenagers are... Yeah. A lot of teenagers are getting um, pressure yeah. about, peer pressure, isn't it? You just want to fit in with the crowd and not stand out. Yeah, because like, people think, oh... Um, cause judge you, they'll judge you and... Yeah, because they, they would go like, oh, that person's in a relationship, I should be as well. But yeah. that's not it, because obviously, like, these days, like, if you're in secondary school or, you know, college and stuff, the relationships you're in now, they're never going to last. last. Yeah. They're not going to last. Obviously, they're, they're not, not going to last. last. Yeah. Wow, you're going to stay together forever. Yeah, you might say, <laughs> you might say, like, <laughs> oh, what? yeah, I'm in love with him. No, we're going to get married so in the much. future. But just the reality, of, it's, it's most likely not going to last. So. Yeah, obviously. So there's like that pair. So there's, there's no that, point that of it, isn't it? There's no, where's it going? Like, are you going to get married? No. Exactly. What's the point? Because relationships are there for like, you get into it's a relationship. It's a long term thing. It's not like a short term, two weeks, yeah, like, bye. You don't mean yeah, you stuff talk, like that, isn't it? Yeah, you get into a relationship if you want it for the long term. Like, you, you Forever. If, you get into, if you start talking to a guy and stuff, you have to like, your goals have to be to marry and him. It has to be future. pure. You have to be yeah. pure. Yeah. Isn't it? You have to stay in the limits, isn't it? Wait. Yeah, and you have to think about the future. What if he doesn't, you know, um, meet all his expectations? Yeah. What if there's so yeah. many different things? Yeah. Like if he's not, s- not smart enough, but like if yeah. he drops out of... Well, that comes yeah. with, yeah. with marriage, yeah. drugs, Like, how is this going to benefit yeah. you? Yeah. Are you going to, you know, yeah. succeed from this? No, so... How's it good? How's he good for you, isn't it? Mm. And, um, like, people, teenagers want to fit into with the crowd and stuff, like... I personally think that you should just be yourself and do whatever, like, be who you are, isn't it? Yeah. Why would you want to be like people and do stuff that, that Other people, people do? Exactly. Why don't you just do what you want to do? Yeah. And do what you a, think is right, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. um, being in a mixed school, you always see boys around and everything, and that might kind of, you know, have, what, what's the word, like? You might feel attracted to them and like them and stuff and start um having crushes but yeah them. even for like crushes. guys and stuff like if you see a girl you're meant to lower your gaze you're not meant to look at yeah. her yeah that's beautiful the thing about islam being him so when a man really sees a woman he lowers his gaze yeah so you can't yeah. really blame he, the first look is a girl. Uh, accidental and that's forgiven yeah yeah so you can't really like um blame a girl if she goes like oh uh, that guy started talking to me it's, it's the guy's fault as well yeah. Yeah. yeah the girl should not so be so fully yeah. it's equal it's equal the blame to uh, the equally blame basically yeah and yeah. what our viewers should know is that in order to be happy you don't need to be in a relationship yeah. like school's there for many reasons there's school facili- um, facilities you could join clubs um after school clubs even revision if you're trying to like focus on study and you could even have like um, the same gender as you, friends, like going out to like, like a manicure. Sense, yeah. Just there should be other things that keep you happy. Just not thinking, oh, I need to be in a relationship. Girly days. You can have yeah. girly days with your yeah. friends. Yeah, you don't need with your to be in a relationship just to be happy. Because at the end of the day, your friends are gonna be there for you forever. Exactly. And, and what if that the relationship? Boyfriends you have are basically they come and go. Yeah. So they, 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 don't, they don't mean anything. Literally, yeah. they don't mean anything. Because like. If you make, okay, so if you get into a relationship with a guy and you make memories with him and then you guys break up, but you have your mates, Very like nice. your friends, and yeah. you make memories with her, like, those, those memories, memories are going to be the beautiful ones that you mm, yeah. basically, like, have, like, emotion, like, you have, like, that emotion, like, when you look at them and stuff. Yeah, because if you think about the memories you had with your boyfriend, you're going to, like, hate those memories, you're going to regret them, but then... Because he hurt you, isn't it? Yeah, but with your, gu- like, mates, like, your friends, you're obviously going to cherish friends. them forever, yeah. Exactly. So it's, more, it's mostly about just, you know, keeping, like, having friends, but then choosing the right group of people to be with and, you know, m- making the right choices, kind of, yeah. like, friends-wise. That is so true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with that, to be honest. Well, but you do agree with that. Yeah, absolutely. I think that, you know, when you're in the situation, like, um, trying to choose between, oh, do I have, do you want, do I want, do I want a temporary happiness or do I want to be with a, you know, long life friends yeah. that will keep me happy, inshallah, for the rest of my life. So I guess, you know, it just... Yeah, they're going to last, basically. Yeah. yeah. They're going to last forever. But sometimes and, you know, you have to think about the rules as well, the laws in Islam you can't have a boyfriend so you should think yeah. about the laws the morals and ultimately you know what you want to do which will yeah. benefit you and in the future doesn't it make sense like 
if you wanna like before you get married, don't you want your future husband, inshallah, to not have done anything with a girl and you to be same, pure, basically, to be yeah. pure, like not touched or anything, basically clean within or outside, like pure clean, isn't it? It's, it's beautiful though. Like yeah. the first boy you're ever gonna do something with is gonna be your future partner. Yeah. So that's, that, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah, especially in like mixed schools, you're there to like learn and to study and everything. You're not there for It's literally school. French. What's school for? What's school, school for? It's school to study, to yeah, yeah, to get a good job in the future. Exactly. So oh, you can have people. friends and stuff, but then that's not the main thing. Yeah, you have your whole exactly. life to Exactly, the education part is the main thing. And no, yeah, education get that. lasts for, for a certain amount of time. You're not going to get these years back. But exactly. whereas friends, you can meet them in the street, you can meet them in your workplace, like... But yeah, when you're older, you can make new friends, but you, you won't get the education that you missed out on back. Exactly. Exactly. This is just yeah. a one-time thing. So if you like decide in a lesson what to not listen to the teacher and do your own thing or talk exactly. to your friends or... Your teacher won't be there 10 years' time when you're in a, you know, a... In a, a, a Tesco or... Working in, in, in Tesco yeah. or something. Or um, interview, interview. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah exactly. Yeah, to like, help you to learn yeah. these skills from now. So you'll be prepared in the future other than just focusing on you know, the downside of it also, like boyfriends and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And what other challenges are there in, in mixed schools? Like, because, like, the area we live around, it, like East London and stuff, most like, yeah, cause, yeah. boys, like, do really Getting bad things. Yeah, and party, then there's drugs. peer pressure, isn't uh -huh, it? There's yeah. peer pressure. The area we live in is, like, kind of, not, I wouldn't say a bad area, but... Chubby. Yeah, not chubby. <laughs> like, there's a lot of bad influences around you, like, guys... Not even just guys or like girls. Yeah, they do drugs. They do like all this bad stuff, and they think it's cool doing it. And you might think, oh, he's like, oh, um, you know, they're doing it, so I want to do it as well. So that might be like a huge like peer pressure, and you might want to do that as well. But obviously, you can't because in Islam, you're not allowed. Yeah. So it's all, in, and it's also about having good friends because didn't Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say, was him. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Basically, um, a, a good good friends are like good perfume and a good um scent. Yeah. yeah, and then bad friends are like a bad poisonous um, scent, and it's not like basically bad friends will basically harm you. That's what things yeah. like. Yeah, because so. like in school, it's really important to make like s make the right friends and know like have a good friendship group kind of because obviously if your friends are bad and they're doing bad things, you. You're obvious, you might not realise it, but you're going to get affected and you're going to start getting influenced by them and you're going to start doing bad stuff. So it's good to choose like good friends who have like, good intentions in life. And um, like when, when it comes to choosing your friends, you follow how many, t um, if they do their five times prayer, I read in a book, and if they follow, uh, if they basically are Muslims and they follow the faith of Islam, like you're... you're I think this is for life partner, I don't know, but yeah. Huh? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, friends, obviously, because this is like a really multicultural area, so there's going to be different, different races here, yeah. But it's up to you whether you want to become influenced by them or not. So imagine you have a non-Muslim friend, that doesn't mean you have to stop doing what you're doing as a Muslim and just go with them, but rather, you know, share your beliefs, share your passions, but, yeah. you know. Still be yourself, but then Still be yourself and not, you know, change who you are because you know yeah i don't really experience that because everyone's basically a muslim at school and my surroundings so, so it's kind of really easy right. for me yeah oh, it's just so yeah. easy for me literally but the thing is like um because not it's not like muslims are perfect isn't it but yeah sometimes muslims aren't to, be islam honest, is. to be honest yeah, yeah islam, islam is perfect yeah. obviously to be honest some non-muslims have actually have a better personality than some yeah. muslims to be honest they're not judging anyone, but sometimes that is true because they use religion yeah. as a way as an to excuse. Make, yeah, as an excuse to do stuff. They say, oh, um, like no, some some girls they wear like headscarves to school and stuff, but then pictures they take it off and you know all that mm. stuff. And then they go out and stuff. Make yeah. <laughs> so, but you can like it's just wrong, isn't it? It's wrong, but we're not here to judge anyone. Again, you can do what you want, but. At the end May of the day, Allah is watching you. Hmm? He's, he knows what you're doing. Uh, yeah, ask him for help. Not just, oh, 
Allah can only judge me, but rather just everyone God, says only yeah, God can judge, judge me. me they do something so bad and they go, so, only God can judge me. Exactly. So if you pray with or, short or, or, um, you know uh, that's wrong. Say only, that, yeah. only God can judge me. Don't mm. judge me. Well, what, what is God gonna judge you over though? What he was gonna say when he judges you? Do you get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like, okay, maybe you've been through something, but um, like, yeah. And if you, if you want to know what he can judge you on, go read the Quran, go read the translation. That way you will see the evidence. So How you can't just be like, only Allah can judge me. Well, he will judge you according to these rules. The so actions you do. Yeah. yeah. So you can't really exactly. say Allah can judge me. Because if he st clearly states in the Quran, oh, um, don't kill and you kill, but oh, Allah judge me, I have a reason. But no, because it says clearly, if you kill one person, it's like you've killed the whole of mankind. So I guess yeah. you have to know your facts and knowledge before you say Allah can judge me because that's just false. Yeah. Yeah, but obviously people do go through things and then that, and then no one's perfect. They they make yeah. mistakes when they um go through stuff. So in times like these, I think it's just best to support one another, not just because I think nowadays Sin. people just people throw just accusations out there yeah. and, just and they just become a really pessimistic person. Yeah, or, uh, I'm like, all, you know, yeah, we're all going through the same thing, so we should share our troubles and just and then yeah. just look at the bright side of things. Yeah. Isn't it? Even if there's no bright that side of your problem. Just know it will end. It? This yeah, life is a test, so, you know. So no matter exactly. what, even if your car or house or everything gets taken away from you, literally, There is everything. a reason, yeah. Because even Allah it? says, I think... Remember that story? It, um, that story? story? What story was it? Was it Ayub? <laughs> Ayub. What happened in it? was him. Wait, what happened was in him. it? Yeah, what happened? Oh, um, basically, um, Allah was testing him. He, he literally was so sad because... Basically, he went to jail and everything. It wasn't his fault. And then basically, he lost everything. And then he has still had that faith yeah. in Allah. Because Allah puts okay. you in a position where he even said that how he won't put you in a position that you can't ever bear. Yeah. So anything you're going through right now, whether someone's bullying you, torturing you, that's something you can bear. He will never put you in a position where you can't, you know, aren't able to face it. So yeah. I guess it's all just a trial to see how strong your iman is. So, um, yeah, that's true, isn't it? So, always, always have your faith, no matter what you're going through. And if if you're ever, ever starting to feel like, oh, yeah. why is he doing this to me? Like, just, well, you just remember, it's just, it's, it's a test, yeah. isn't it? He's, it's, he's just, he's just testing you. Yeah, in school and stuff as well, because um, you have to, when you're at school, when you're studying, so that you always have to keep Allah in the back of your head and remember that. You, like no matter like what you what happens or what you do, like he's gonna be there for you, and you know it's just all gonna be all okay, cause like and in school and stuff you have to remember to pray like do namaz like at lunch times and stuff. I yeah. always go and yeah, even yeah, if there's no facilities, I guess you could come home and just yeah. do them. So there should be no excuse to not yeah yeah. That's it really, isn't it? About no, we we just went off tangent there, isn't it? Yeah, we're we talking were about to. challenges. And mix it. We're talking about what? Uh, no, <laughs> let's go back to challenges. Uh, challenges in mixed schools. Not, 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 I think we covered it all, isn't it? Yeah, like being boys. pressurized, not yeah. Being but pressurized. then we don't. We didn't talk about the challenges in only girl schools. Oh yeah, there girl are a lot school. of challenges Cause there as well. Because because when Cause you, you two got it, you yeah. went to girl school, so you should. From the, my experience and p other people in my school's experience, I think that if you don't, a lot of people in my school, they don't have that, they don't have, they don't have ambitions, they don't have, um, like aspirations and dreams. Like mm. they're, they're, they're a bit like, like as well, because um, in your school, so, some of the girls like not judging anyone, but they get kind of like this, they're, they're so restricted from. Like I, I'd say the opposite gender, that like they feel like they have to, you know, because where in her school it's I just like say all girls. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say that. I was gonna. Oh, you, you, you say your point in there, then I'll uh, say my point. You okay. you carry on. You carry on. <laughs> okay, so basically it's like all girls, and they're just they're living in a thing where there's like literally only girls around them, and I feel like. And those, when they see a boy, yeah, they start freaking out. They're like, oh my god, it's but a But then guy. obviously like, you would do that though. Obviously, we'll do that. Like, I, I don't do it. I'm, I'm but saying, then, obviously. It, but, but then, then imagine like not seeing a boy for, like, five years and you see a boy. That, oh, you wouldn't, be, like, like, scream. No, but I'm not saying but that. But then, to be honest, you, you shouldn't you even be really thinking awkward. about the other, like, race. Yeah, like, and don't they go home race? by themselves to see other? Exactly. exactly. But, like, wouldn't you, like, no, imagine it was, like, a club or something and then you had to. 
it would feel extremely awkward. Imagine uh, you, you had to go college after five years. And you've only seen awkward. girls. It wouldn't be awkward because really. obviously be when you're awkward. doing like oh. every day trips, stuff, you would yeah. go to with different other cooperation with other schools so you get to, you know, be in groups and stuff. Unless your school doesn't allow trips, then that's a different story. But even if unless you go to trips that, it's just like in with daily other schools, life, you could. We don't yeah, go on trips, obviously. And then just, like, just like daily life, you, you see like guys yeah. around you and Family. it's like, yeah, and at the end of the day, like the like the opposite gender shouldn't even be like your main priority, priority like, yeah. you shouldn't even be thinking about that yeah, to be no. honest but so why say you what the hell <laughs> no i'm not saying you <laughs> i meant you, you as in generalized okay, i meant okay, you as in like excuse you. me but not you <laughs> not you as a person but you as like a whole why don't, why don't you stop thinking about it <laughs> <laughs> no i'm joking i'm joking no i'm joking. so yeah. what are you saying no i'm gonna say that oh uh, yeah um um girls in my school like i think they they don't have Actually, you know, they're, they're aspirations. Not, yeah, they're not, they're really closed. Close Just being a, yeah, very close. I don't know what is, what is that? What's that word when you like when you like basically like a ghost and you keep doing the same thing over and over and again and you basically you're really quiet and you just do that and you, you have no emotion in your face like that yeah. that I don't know what that word is but everyone in my school is like that literally and um I just no but I just that's feel like, like I don't know I just feel like. Wait, sorry. Cause Cause is it different in mixed school? Because no, that's, cause that's the thing. Like, there's nothing to can't. talk about. They they have nothing. They don't know about. Any, they don't know no knowledge or nothing. Like the only knowledge that, that they know is from school. Is well, school then the, the girls in your school, if they're like kind of they're like zombies, basically. <laughs> if they're like zombies, then it's not really. I can't explain it. Like, because being a Muslim, you can still have fun. You can still enjoy life. Yeah, it's like it's they don't enjoy life. They're, they're like proper. They they, yeah, it's not like they don't enjoy life because they're not with guys, like they don't have I'm guys not, oh around my God, them, I'm not talking obviously. about guys now, I'm not talking then? about guys, I'm, talking, talking, about, about I'm talking about, I don't know, just like the girl, overall outlook know. in life, they're just... Don't be a zombie, oh, just oh, because oh, you're a Muslim, okay. don't be a zombie, like don't... It's not like, haram enjoy to smile, it's halal to smile, like... Sunnah. Yeah. It's not Sunnah. haram to laugh, it's okay, it's kind of haram to laugh. If you laugh too much, if you excessive laughing is haram, but 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 laughing is good. That's okay, but if you laugh like, like, oh, the way she laughs. Yeah, the way I laugh. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, the way I laugh is haram. No, if you do excessively, that is haram. Yes, excessively. Yeah, yeah, excessive laughing is haram. Yeah. Well, the laughing's alright, mashallah, isn't it? So what were you saying? No, I was saying that I think you should enjoy being a Muslim, Mm. isn't it? I think you should enjoy being a Muslim because obviously a lot of things are um restricted um forbidden for us isn't it for, for for us to do a lot of things and it's really hard for us to keep and uh, not do those things isn't it like yeah. for example listen to music oh. watch tv yeah yeah what, what what did you think i was talking about <laughs> i thought you meant like oh it's so hard to keep up with the rules so we can't do anything i'm like oh yeah no. oh um yeah that's, that's kind of true though isn't no, it no it's, it's not, not really that hard because of no, 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 the, the rules and stuff the but rules like, yeah they're like e- they're, they're kind of easy to follow if you just have the right mindset yeah. you wouldn't really think yeah. about that so it's not that difficult you know but the things yeah. that that we can't do like daily things isn't it it's really hard like, but then we should just, we like should just try. daily things like what yeah well i said listen to music watching tv oh. watching tv my arm Watching as long as you control what is not like watching TV is watching TV if you no, control like we are reading a book okay if you like, it's like no, there's if different you, scholars if opinions you so you have to, to me okay Quran is the uh, pathway okay because different scholars have different views so imagine one scholar said you have to cover your face are you going to come here and then cover your face there's like different interpretations but there's no way in the Quran that says you, you know, can't watch TV, TV. watching excessive TV was there TV in those times no how would they know then exactly so I guess you can't really say so but then some TV shows are bad though yeah stuff that's filled with like disaster and you know yeah like the bad stuff yeah so you know bad influence you'd know what to watch and what not to watch obviously yeah yeah it's not it's not it's not that hard when you think about it it's not that hard yeah Okay. Unfortunately, we've only got a little, little, little short amount of time. I really okay. enjoyed today. Yeah, it? so did I. Thank yeah, you so much for coming. Yeah, I'm so welcome. grateful. And I enjoyed being here. Like, yeah. This is Onik, really Onik, Onik, but thank you so much. <laughs> I, um, a message I say? What? Uh, for the viewers, have you got any messages? Um, um, any last words you want to like say? For the people who go to mixed schools or, you know, things like just don't just focus on your studies at the moment because obviously your education is your main main priority and no like obviously like religion islam is islam and then, and education, then is. education but 
yeah, like just focus on your studies, just do good in school and make your parents proud. Yeah, make like, everyone happy. Really make Allah proud. Yeah, because at the end of the day, like if you're focusing on other stuff instead of education, clothes, and makeup, boys, your studies, yeah, like, no. what? No, big no. Because you have to think of the bigger picture, like what you're going to do when you're older and what your aspirations are. So you can't just go like, oh, I'm going to have fun right now. And then when you're older, I'll end up working like in retail or like, you know. Yeah. Just, just think you about your big, future, basically. Yeah, you have to have and that big always think about the hereafter. Picture. Yeah. Heaven or hell. Yeah. Have you got any last words to say to your um, Well, I guess all I can say is stay, um, stay healthy and, you know, know your limits and ultimately, you know, pray do the good things and inshallah Allah will guide you. Yeah. Have you anything to say about mixed schools and girls schools and um, people that go through that? Um, don't fall into the trap of, Shaitan. you know, feeling the need to have a boyfriend and stuff. Fo focus on the good side, education and then, yeah. And okay. Islam, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Lower your gaze. Islam and education. Yeah. Yeah, when you see something, lower your gaze. So. So thank you so much for watching again to Out of Focus. I really, really uh, um, was excited and enjoyed today's show. I think today's topic was quite um, intense, wasn't it? And it was a bit uh, deep, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a bit deep, yeah. But thank you so much for watching. Be tuned in next time for some more um, fun, lively topics that we discuss. There's going to be loads of those more new topics that we um, share and our opinions and perspectives we share, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm really excited for next time. Thank you so much for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.